So in the last class we were discussing about what we discussed. We discussed about the horizontal mark, right? Now or vertical mark. Vertical mark. Now today first we'll be discussing horizontal mark and then we'll discuss the main sorting algorithm and finally we'll try to consider an example uh, through which because uh, through which uh, we can see how the algorithm works. Now in the what is the to march? First part, uh, the problem is that suppose you have J cross K the problem is that this is increasing order this is decreasing order and you want to mark it, right? In order to do that, <coughs> first we need to define a two column merge. That problem is that you have one column J rows and two J elements. Say you have A0, A1, A2, A2, for simplicity. Right, uh, let us say A1, A2, A2, J. These two J elements you have, which is a bitonic sequence. Who is the second man absent? One is Omitraj, and the other one? This is 18, 17, right? 4 plus 4, 8, 9, 13, 17. So A1, A2, A2, J is a bitonic sequence and the elements are stored in a column of J rows in such a way that you have A1, A2, AJ and then AJ plus 1 to A to J. Okay. And let us assume that this data is stored like this P0, P1, Pj minus 1. Right? This P0, P1, Pj minus 1 are the process. And this is in RS register, this is in RT register or RR register, RR register, okay. So you have A1, A2, A2J elements which form a bitonic sequence and, the, and you have a column of J rows and J rows and each row is assigned to a processor P0 to Pj minus 1. And and uh, uh, ith row contains the ai and ai plus j. Agreed. Ai is in rs register, and ai plus j is in rr register. So, what uh, you are going to do it? See, the simple thing is that in the biotonic sequence is based on the only one property that ai is compared with ai plus n. So this is ready for you that this has to be compared, this has to be compared. Okay? So if you compare and rejected element will be in this side and accepted element will be this side. Right? Now after that I want to do it recursively. Right? So what happens here? That after comparing, 
this element will be this element will be a bytonic sequence this element will form a bytonic sequence and all these elements will be less than or equals to this one agreed or not huh? so and then recursively we will be solving this too so same idea that you have this one compared exchange compared exchange now you have to bring these elements in this zone and this element should go in this zone if i then see it then this will become a bytonic sequence this will become another bytonic sequence and all these elements will be smaller than this element yes no any confusion i am what i am doing this is compared with this the rejected elements are lying here accepted elements are lying here agree mm -hmm. now i want to make it these two halves you know to make these two halves and recursively i want to use it so this half should be interchanged with this half so so that this forms a bytonic sequence this form another bytonic sequence and all these elements will be smaller than this element and then you do it recursively so for example So this is a bytonic sequence you have, right? And this is an R S register and this is an R R register. What we are doing? That I is to be compared with I plus n, and the accepted elements in R S area and rejected elements in R R register. So if it is the case. you get the result of this like now you observe you observe that this becomes a bytonic sequence and this becomes another bytonic sequence agree right? by the definition of the uh, by, from the theorem of bytonic sequence now you want to use the same algorithm you want to use the same algorithm for your what so what i want that these elements should be here so that i get the bytonic sequence and these elements should be here so that i get another bytonic sequence so what i will be doing i want to interchange this two so if i interchange it i get two one two Five, eight, seven, six, four, three, <coughs> and you get fifteen, fourteen, twelve, eleven, nine, ten, thirteen, sixteen. Right. So you get. You observe that you get. two bytonic sequence and all these elements will be smaller than these elements now again you perform 
two hops, compare exchange and then interchange these two elements. So, you get here one One seven two six four five three eight nine fifteen ten fourteen twelve eleven thirteen sixteen and if I interchange this two I get 1, 2, 4, 3, 7, 6, 5, 8, 9, 10, 12, 11, 15, 14, 13, 16. Now you observe that this is a cluster of four elements, this is a cluster of another four elements and each cluster is a biotonic sequence and again you do compare exchange. One. So compare exchange and then interchange so you will get then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, right. And then you get basically eight such biotonic sequence. You just do the compare exchange. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Agreed? So, you get the sorted sequence in this form. Right? Here, now if you observe that I could have done, after doing the compare exchange, you observe that this sequence is a biotonic sequence, this sequence is a biotonic sequence. And all these elements should be smaller than this element. Agreed? And now I could have done the column merge. I could have done the column merge. And I could have got, could have got this sorted. This is all sorted sequence. Right? Yes, this is the home of, it's based on the particular sequence. But the problem is that I don't achieve the goal like that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like that which I need for horizontal mark because in the horizontal mark this should be like this, not this way. So that is the reason why instead of doing the column mark, we are doing the interchange first and then we are repeating the two column marks so that the data is, the final data is stored in this form. Is it okay? The two column marks. First step is that perform compare exchange operation
between RS and RR registered, right? We have already assumed the data is in the form that A1, A2, A3, A2J in such a way that EI and EI plus J is in the ith row and RR, RS and RR register respectively. Now, if J is greater than 1, if J is equals to 1, that means there is only one row and that means that you have the only two elements which form the bytonic sequence, just one compare exchange is sufficient to make it sorted form. Now, if J is greater than 1, <coughs> what are you going to do? The rejected element has to be compared, has to be interchanged with accepted element of that. So, interchange content of R R of C I I is zero to J by two minus one with R S of P K K is J by two to J minus one. Agree? Now how are you going to do this? See what we told This has to be interchanged. How are you going to do that? Huh? X equals to interchange. What is X? That is take the two values take and one value to the other. How are you going to get these two values? This is in PI and this is in say PK. And it is in the form of mesh. PI is connected to its phone neighbor only. Sir, uh, move contains of uh, RR in RT. Yes, that is the reason why we need RT. So the elements here, you move to RT. Then bring down, next step, you bring down all these elements here. Then you interchange this, then you bring back. Agreed? So this is the step. And then finally, you move again these elements. Now after interchanging, you will be doing two column merge j by 2 which j p0 pj by 2 minus 1 and two column merge j by 2 pj by 2 to pj minus one simultaneously. Right? Both of them can be done in parallel. Agreed. <coughs> now if it is the case, then what is the time complexity? What I notation I use for time complexity? P or N. P? P. T. T. I wrote I think R. 2C and you have J so routing if J is equals to 1 then it is 0 there is no routing right now if J equals to more if J is greater than 1 
you obviously you have T R J Y two two C plus what is the rooting required? This data has to be moved here, right? And then, again you will be moving back. So, <coughs> what is the rooting step? Total number? <coughs> Sir, can that not be done uh, simultaneously? Which one? So, bring this data down no. and take this data up. How? So, for this half of this, the... This data you are bringing here. And the left one take up. How are you going to? Because I told you the rooting R R register is the only register through which. So we can store the above uh, R R in R T. How? R R will send data to R R only. Rooting register no, no, only. No, sir. The initial value in this one you are storing here. R T. R T. Now similarly, you are bring similarly in the left uh, left above. The above similarly. This one you want so, to store here. So the left part. Left. The left. This part. RS contains the your original data. RS contains. You cannot touch RS. RS. This RS is all accepted data. This you want to retain here. This contains all rejected data, but you want to keep them here. <coughs> Only this is that this part has to be interchanged with this part. In order to do that, the and your routing is done through R register only. So you move this data here, you bring this data here, interchange these two, then you send back the data here, okay? Then this you bring back. Or reverse way, this you do one of the methods. So you need R routing. R by 2 this side, again R by 2 going back, you need R routings. R this sorry, R is J, J routing. Now what is the solution of this? You assume J is 2 to the power I or 2 to the power K. Tell me, what is the solution? J plus J by 2 plus J by 4 2J. 2J or 2J minus 2? Yeah, 2J minus 2. Last time we did it? I think it is 2J minus 2. Next one is? Number of exchange operations. And another one is? number of comparisons and comparison exchange. Okay, first let us do the number of compare exchange. It is 1 if j is equals to 1. Otherwise it is 1 plus t c 2 c j by 2 if j is greater than 1. Agree? Because there is no compare exchange here operation. So I write 1 plus p c to c j by 2. Yes. And this solution is known to you. This solution is log j. What about here? There is no exchange operation, so G O if J equals to 1, this side I will be writing P E 2 C J by 2 plus if J greater than 1. How many exchange operations you are performing here? First is one is you are bringing data here, then Second is you are bringing data here, inter exchange operations, right? Then you are sending back through routing. Then again you, you will be bringing the data here. Three, right? Three. 
three or not? So, it is three. So, it is what answer is? What say? Huh? This is one and this is three. Three log? No impact on zero? Three log j minus one? Are you sure? So if I put j equals to 1, then it is it's becoming 2. Tell me what? 3 log j minus 1 or suppose suppose j equals to let us assume that j equals to 2. Answer should be j equals to 2. Answer should be 3 j equals to 3, answer should be j equals to 4, answer should be not known. So what, what should be the Thing you want to take? So it is 3 log j. If j equals to 1, it is a 0 and 2, it is 3 and 3 and 4, it is 6 and so on, it is there. So it is 3 log j. So the two column merge is done because that you want the data should be in such a way that that all the elements in the first row smaller than the, all the elements in the second row and so on. So this idea is used in the horizontal merge. So the elements you have in this form such that it forms a biotonic sequence and we bring this data here okay so initial if you remember this forms a biotonic sequence now you will observe that these elements and its these elements, this has come here, this also will form a biotonic sequence. Agreed or not? Yes or no? No. See, you have two biotonic sequences, right? Now, if this is an increasing order, then this column is also in increasing order, right? If this is decreasing order, then this column is always decreasing order. Now, if I bring this data here, this forms a biotonic sequence, right? Because this was increasing order, this was decreasing order. Agreed? Similarly, if I bring this data here, I get another biotonic sequence here and so on with which also and also if I merge the two column merge here then all the smaller elements will be here next smaller elements will be here and so on yes or no yes. similarly is the case okay so what I do, I rejected an element, I send back again. These rejected elements are rejected elements in the first row, right? 
So they are not here. These elements are smaller than these elements. So all these elements will be smaller than these elements. Similarly, all these elements will be smaller than these elements. So even if I am sending the rejected elements, these elements are smaller than these elements. And also, each of this will form a biotonic sequence, this will form a biotonic sequence. Okay? And then you do the simple row merge on each of them, you will find the sorted sequence. So let us consider first one example before we discuss the algorithm. Sixteen plus sixteen. Okay, one, two, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, So you have, suppose, these 32 elements and this form increasing order, this form decreasing order, right? And you observe that this whole thing is a biotonic sequence. What we are doing? I am bringing these elements in the first column, these elements in the second column, these elements in the third column, these elements in the fourth column. So you get, for, I am not writing now this part, I get 131, 229, 4, 26, 7, 25, 8, 23, 13, 22, 15, 18, 16, 17, 19, 14, 20, 12, 21, 11, 24, 10, 27, 9, 28, 6, 30, 5, 32, 3. Then I do that two column merge for each column. What I will get? One, eight, nine, fourteen. 19, 23, 24, 27, 31. What about here? 2, huh? 2, 6, 12, 13, 20, 28, Then 4, 5, 11, 13, 13, 11, 15, this is 15, 11, 15, 18, 20. then you get 3, 7, 10, 16, 
सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी टू राइट देन वी सेंड बैक द रिजेक्टेड एलिमेंट्स टू हिज काउंटर पार्ट सो आई गेट वन टू फोर थ्री एट सिक्स फाइव सेवन नाइन ट्वेल्व इलेवन टेन फोर्टीन थर्टीन फोर्टीन थर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एटीन सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी थर्टी टू राइट इज दिस रिजेक्टेड एलिमेंट आई सेंड बैक नो फर्स्ट थिंग यू ऑब्जर्व हियर that all these elements are smaller than this element all these elements are smaller than this element second thing you observe now after sending back each of them is bytonic sequence and all these elements are smaller than this element uh, sorry all these elements smaller than this elements all these elements smaller than this elements and so on so you can introduce the row merge here row merge here row merge here row merge here and so on and finally you will get the sorted sequence yes so you have horizontal merge j comma k so tell me what shall i write initial data is in what you decide whether it is an rs register or rr register data is let us assume data is in rr register in that case you assume the data is in R R register. Then, what do you have to do? Huh? What exchange? First thing is that, huh? Compare. How can you compare? Huh? Shift those elements. How can you shift it? Because they are all in R R register. That you have decided. So perform exchange operation in the first half. right so first is perform exchange operation between rr and rs of pi or by pi i is what 1 to 1 or 0 0 2 0 2 0 k by 2 minus 1 so so actually p i j i should write p i j but for all j for all j right so you have performed that then get the data of rr from p i k to p i j where not i j i is what i refers to what i refers to what row so i made mistake here this should be j this should be i this should be 
a by 2 plus j and for all i j is 0 to k by 2 minus 1 right then then you perform two column merge for each column for each column right send data of RR from PIJ to PI K by 2 plus J. For all I, J is 0 to K by 2 minus 1. Next, perform exchange operation between RR and RS by PI J for all I J is 0 to K by 2 minus 1. Right? So I get back the acceptance elements in RR of each. Agreed? So I have done up to up to this. Up to this. Now I have to do the row march. Here you write, assume there are 2j biotonic sequences sequences each of size k by 2. Simultaneous perform row merge k by 2 on each biotonic sequence. So this is the steps involved in horizontal march. Now the question is coming to obtain the time complexity TR horizontal march J comma K tell me what is the routing? So you have you have T R two column march J plus T R row march K by two plus right. This is whatever you needed that I have added, whatever you needed here that I have added and what is the number? Huh? So this is one routing step and this is another routing step. So this is K. Agreed? So can you tell me what is the solution for this? What is the solution for this? I have just now you obtained which is 2j minus 2. What about this one? Row merge k by 2. 
रोमर्स के आंसर इज वॉट टू के माइनस टू हियर इट इज के माइनस के माइनस टू के इज रिप्लेस बाई के बाई टू एग्री डॉट नॉट ये माइनस टू इज कॉन्स्टेंट एक्चुअली प्लस के सो दिस गिव्स यू टू टाइम्स जे प्लस के माइनस टू नाउ वॉट अबाउट एक्सचेंज हॉरिजेंटल मार्ज जे कॉमा के वॉट एवर टाइम यू नीड एक्सचेंज हॉरिजेंटल मार्ज जे प्लस so here one exchange of operations here another exchange of operations so two exchange operations you are doing right so what is te this result is what t log j what about this one what is the result two log k टू टू ब्लॉक के बाई टू प्लस जे प्लस टू अग्री सो इट इज थ्री लॉक जे प्लस टू लॉक के नाउ देर इज नो कॉम्पेयर ऑपरेशन हियर एक्सेप्ट दिस हियर एंड सो आई कैन राइट T C H M J K is whatever time you need. Compare you need two C J plus T C R K by two. Tell me, this one is known to you J K log J. What about रो मार्च लॉक के बाई टू सो आई कैन राइट लॉक के माइनस वन नो यू नो वॉट इज वॉट इज वार्टिकल मार्च एंड वॉट इज वॉट इज रो मार्च यू आर रेडी टू राइट द शॉर्टिंग एलगोरिदम सो वाइल्ड राइटिंग द शॉर्टिंग एलगोरिदम यू हैव टू कीप इट इन माइंड इन द बायटोनिक इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बायटोनिक सिक्वेंस वन सिक्वेंस विल बी इंटीजिंग ऑर्डर अनदर सिक्वेंस has to be in decreasing order first is that if you have the four cross four four cross four this is a bytonic sequence this is another bytonic so you will be arranging them in this form yes or no so that this forms a binary sequence then you will be merging this one so first it is horizontal merge you have to do then vertical merge horizontal merge vertical merge and so on right and every time you have to keep track whether i have to keep it positive uh, increasing order or decreasing order that has to be done so to do that i need to know what is the stage number i need to know a sign function to tell if plus 1 if it is in increasing order increasing order how i will compute the sign function will decide later on if it is decreasing order right so i need to know the stage first stage second stage and so on and a sign function and the second thing i need to know a variable k to tell that your horizontal merge k cross k k 
k cross 2k vertical mass 2k cross 2k right what it means that first time you will be arranging this way consisting of two elements right in the second stage in the second in the first phase you will get another one that instead of vertical horizontal mass you will be making vertical mass afterward which size will become 2k cross 2k in the second phase you will get this side two rows but four columns and then four rows four columns and so on so k will be that pointer initially initially we assume that k equals to 1 s equals to 1 and you are interested to sort m cross m elements by m cross m processors in two dimensional mesh every processor contains one element so you have m cross m processors every processor contains one element you are interested to sort these m square elements k equals to 1 first stage s equals to 1 While k is less than m, assume there are several sub-arrays, each of size k cross 2k. Perform horizontal mass k cross 2k then stage is increased by 1 assume there are several saw arrays each of size 2k cross 2k use vertical merge 2k cross 2k to increase s by 1 again next stage and k by 2k so this is your main algorithm so you observe this, at this stage, each sub-array is sub-biotonic sequence. At this stage, each sub-array is, each sub-array of size 2k cross 2k is a biotonic sequence. Here, I have not told about the sign function, whether increasing order or decreasing order, that I'll discuss separately, right? If it is the case, then, what is the time complexity? T main algorithm size m cross m number of routines. Now, if I start, there are two ways you can compute. You can start 1 cross 2, then 2 cross 2, then 2 cross 4, then 4 cross 4, Victor has some power, and so on. Right? Instead of doing that, it will let us think this way. Suppose I get, suppose I get this is a sorted sequence, this get a sorted sequence, this get a sorted sequence, and sorted sequence. So that this is a bitonic sequence, this is another bitonic sequence. Right? And then you have used horizontal merge and vertical merge, you will be getting the total sorted sequence. Agreed or not? Suppose I assume that this is sorted sequence, this is sorted sequence, so that this is a bitonic sequence. This is sorted sequence, this is sorted sequence, this is a bottom sequence. You call, you call horizontal mark to get a sorted sequence, call horizontal mark to get a sorted sequence. Finally, you, you get a whole bottom sequence and call vertical mark. 
right? So if it is the case, so can I write here the time complexity for this is nothing but TR main algorithms m by 2 cross m by 2 plus TR horizontal merge m by 2m plus TR vertical merge m comma m. See, so yeah, I am just, uh, instead of looking from bottom up approach, I am thinking about the top down approach. I have, by some recursive method, I have sorted this, sorted this, sorted this, and sorted this. Now, this is a binary sequence. So, make it a sorted one, which needs horizontal merge algorithm. So, this is the time complexity. Simultaneously, you do this. Then, you combine these two using the vertical merge, which is the time needed for doing this is this. Now, this gives you TR m, m by 2, m by 2 plus, what is the time we have already obtained? J plus K minus 2. J plus? Twice of J plus K this? Minus 2. Minus 2. Minus 2. Minus. TR M M by 2 M by 2 plus 3M minus 4. Now assume M is equals to 2 to the power K or 2 to the power M equals to huh? vertical merge is vertical merge is vertical merge. Oh, you add? Then what is the vertical merge? Huh? 2M minus Vertical merge? Yeah. It's the same. Push them. Same manner? This one? Vertical march and vertical march is row march plus column march. 4m minus 4. 4m minus 4. 4. Uh -huh. So it is 4m minus 4. So this is 8. This is 7. And assume m equals to 2 to the power. What is the solution now? T R M M by 4 cross M by 4 plus 7 by 2 M minus 8 plus 7 M minus 8 M equals to 1 answer is 0 right. So up to M equals to 2 you have to go that means L equals to Tell me, what is the answer? This is 2 square. T R M 1 comma 1 7 2 to the power, what I write? Is it okay? Sure. Hmm. This is zero. This is zero. Tell me the solution now. Seven M one plus Minus? 8 L. 8 L. And this is 2 to the power L minus 1. 2 to the power L minus 1 is 7 M. M minus 1. Huh? 
2 to the power L minus 1 divided by half into 2 minus 8 L. So, this is nothing but 14 M into M minus 1 minus 8 log L. Right? Now you have T exchange main T exchange main M by 2 M by 2 plus T exchange horizontal bars M by 2 plus T exchange vertical bars M comma M. What is the just now we obtain three 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 log j three log m by two plus two log plus two log m okay what about this one two log j two log Two log uh, m square. That is four log m. This is this gives you what? Uh, three log m. Three log m plus two five plus nine log m. T e m m by 2, m by 2, 9 log m minus 3, okay. So what is the solution for this? 9 log m tell me minus 3 plus 9 log m by 2 minus 3 plus 9 log m 4 minus 3 9 log m is it okay? Huh? First case. Where? Here? Yeah. Yeah. Actually it will be M minus one. Uh, Actually it will be M minus one upon M. So M uh, one M will be cancelled. Here by M, right? Okay. So it is fourteen M minus one minus eight log M. Is it okay? What about this one? This is okay or no? What is time? Still time is there, right? Tell me this is okay, this expansion is okay. Right? Then what is the answer? How many log m? 9 log m? L such, right? L such. So log square m minus 3 times log m. minus first one is 9 second one is what 18 so I should take 9 out
1 plus 2 plus L minus 1. So, I get 9 log square m minus 3 log m minus 9 log m log m minus 1 divided by 2. So, you get 4.5 log square m plus 7.5 oh minus is there no 4.5 plus 1.5 log m now tell me what is the number of competitions one is First one is log j, right? Is it first one is log j? Uh, log m plus. First one? Log m by 2 minus log m. Log m by 2 minus? Minus log m. What is the formula? Log j minus log k. Log j minus? Log k minus log minus log j minus log k minus yeah. one minus one is it minus log j plus log j yeah. plus log k minus, minus one and what about vertical one log j into k log j log j plus log k. Right? So, this gives you 2, 3, 3.5, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 log m minus 2, minus 2 plus 4 times log m by 2 minus 2, 4 times log m by 2 to the power l minus 1 minus 2. How many log m's? 4 into log m into log m because there are log m right 2 log m minus 2 times log m plus or minus minus 1 plus 2 plus L minus 1 into 4. So, 4 <coughs> times log square m minus 2 log m minus 4 times log m log m minus 1 divided by 2. So, 2 log square m only right? Wow, such a simple one. Good. So, this is about the number of comparisons you need. Now, the sign thing only because you have to interchange. Still, can you give me 2-3 minutes or no? So I am yet to cover, in the next class I will cover the sign function.